This is a role that I will remember for Kenneth Branagh. <laughs> What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Isaac Demir Reviews. My name is Owen the Breakout, and today I'm going to review the latest installment in this Hercule Poirot Kenneth Branagh trilogy, A Haunting in Venice. This movie is directed and starred once again Kenneth Branagh with Michelle Yeoh, Kelly Riley, Jamie Dorman, Carl Allen, and Tina Fey. In post-World War II Venice, Hercule Poirot, now retired, attends a sentence but one of the guests is murdered, so it's up to the formal detective to once again uncover the killer. Now, here's the story. When I first watched the trailers for A Haunting in Venice, I literally was expecting this movie to like be another Blimhouse horror film. Until Hercule Poirot comes in. And I'm like, holy shit! They're making a third one of these movies? Okay. I'm interested because the Hercule Poirot kind of brought... I don't know what to call this trilogy. I would say the murder mystery kind of brought movies. I would say... They're pretty mixed. I did not enjoy the first Murder on Orient Express movie. I thought it was just okay, but I really do like Death on the Nile that came out last year. I thought that movie was definitely the most underrated movie that came out last year. I thought Ken Abraham directed that movie pretty well, and that's definitely a slight improvement. So, with this murder mystery taken with the horror genre, I would say, I was interested in Haunting in Venice. And, I gotta say guys, once again, this is another entertaining murder mystery film that is directed fantastically by Kenneth Branagh. And I would say this is one of the best aspects of the film, Kenneth Branagh himself. Not just directing this movie, but him playing Hercule Poirot. This is a role that I will remember for Kenneth Branagh. He does a fantastic job playing this character. And you can tell he really enjoys playing this character. I do want to see more of these movies because of Kenneth Branagh himself. He does a great performance as Hercule Poirot and once again, with the murder mystery aspects, he's very smart, he's very intelligent, and he does a really good job solving this mystery, but with a bit of supernatural elements. And this is definitely a dark tone with Hercule Poirot in this film. We explore more of his character, and I think it's developed very, very well. The rest of the cast of the film is great. Michelle Yua is fantastic in this film once again. Loved her from Everything Everywhere All At Once. She definitely deserves her best actress win. She is fantastic in the film. And once again, she does another great performance in this film. The rest, like Kelly Riley, Carl Allen, everyone does a great job in the film. Especially also Jamie Dorman. What an improvement, because I'm not a fan of this actor. He actually surprised me in this film. He does a really good performance in this film. Also, Tina Fey. For a serious role she's been given, because mostly I see her in comedies, she does a great job playing this serious role, and I think she has a great chemistry with Hercule cool in the film. I thought their chemistry is really great in the film. And for a serious performance, Tina Fey does a really great job in this film. Now, as you guys can see throughout this film, this is definitely a different film comparing to the first two films, because this is a murder mystery film with some horror aspects. This is a horror film at a couple of elements. This is based on one of the books, The Halloween Party, and I gotta say, to be honest, the horror aspects of the film is probably one of my least favorite elements when it comes to this film. It's not bad or anything, Kenneth Brown directed the movie very well, it's just one of my least favorite aspects of this film, because what I love the most about this film is, of course, the murder mystery element. The murder mystery in this film is very, very investing like with Death on a Nile, but this movie develops the murder mystery much more cooler. And I also like that this film takes place in a very small scope compared to the first two movies. This movie just takes place in this big house. And it just shows much more intensity when it comes to the murder mystery film because of the small scale alone. But a murder mystery is definitely one of the most entertaining aspects of the film. I love that when you watch a film, you kind of guess who the suspect is, and when you find it, it's revealed, you're like, oh, okay, I didn't notice that. And just the way that Kenneth Branagh directed this movie, it's really well done. And I thought the murder mystery aspect of this film is definitely my favorite so far in this trilogy. I really do enjoy this murder mystery the most in the film because it's just way more unique than the other two. And just different because of the supernatural elements. And also there are some very intense scenes in this film that I was actually really surprised about. Like after this film, I want to see Kenneth Branagh direct more of these murder mystery films. I want him to continue this series because of him as Hercule Poirot and also how he directed this film. Like I said, my biggest flaw of the film is the horror scenes. It is fine, but it's not the elements that I'm like, oh, I'm just super 
intense than excited about. It's mostly this murder mystery that I was very invested in. But overall, guys, The Haunting in Venice is another great installment in this trilogy. I love the cast in the film. Kenneth Brad directed this movie very, very well. I appreciate this film trying to be different than the other two films. Unfortunately, the horror aspects didn't really do it for me, but the murder mystery absolutely did do it for me. And I thought the direction they put onto this film is really well done. And I cannot wait to see more from Kenneth Branagh's Hercule Poirot series because there's a lot of books and I want to see more of these murder mysteries because of him alone. So overall, I enjoy A Haunting in Venice. I'm going to give A Haunting in Venice a B. So guys, that is my review for A Haunting in Venice. Let me know what you think of this movie in the comments below. And what is your favorite movie so far in this trilogy? Let me know that also in the comments below. Make sure you guys follow me on social media links down below. Keep contact with me. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel now for my latest movie reviews and I'm related content. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a nice day.